Christmas come and go or what? Oh, way too fast. I think I'll always want to be in high school where Christmas vacation was a month long and snow angels were the only thing that I wanted to design. my mind wandered to Katie and that incredible dinner you put together at her place. Well, it was fun. I liked finding out that I could help in a crisis. You're hired. Katie's middle name is Crisis. I think you mentioned that. Did I mention how great you've been since Simon asked me to take care of Katie over the holidays? Once or twice. So I'm repeating myself. girlfriend's hand is a huge responsibility. Yeah, it's a little weird. Hmm. You know, and I have a confession to make. I didn't help trim the tree and cook Christmas dinner just for Katie. You already know I did it mostly for you. But I, I, I'm worried about Katie. I really am. I mean, she must be missing her husband like crazy, and in her heart of hearts, she must wonder why he's letting her be alone on Christmas and New Year's. She's just afraid to admit it. She's beautiful. She designs, and she's a pretty good drink, too. <laughs> well, I've done lonely, so I recognize it. Katie's just reaching out. So you know what? I'm going to continue being there for her. In fact, I'm going to be the best friend that she's ever had. Jennifer Munson is trying to kill me with kindness. Well, forgive me for saying this, but she is kind, Katie. Or the kindness thing is just an act, whatever. The point is that she doesn't know that you're divorced, and therefore she does not know that you are the competition. You want to make a bet? You should have seen the look she gave me after Christmas dinner. She smiled at you. Exactly. What? Meanwhile, she's sticking every claw she has straight into Mike. Maybe your plan to burn the roast could have used a bit more thought. Okay, so the dinner thing. I mean, unless your out. point was for Jen to impress Mike with the, that save the day meal, in which case it was a huge success. Don't remind me. Oh, I have to figure out a way to get alone time with Mike, or he's never going to remember what we had. Oh, he remembers. Trust me. Why do you say that? Because I. I I count the stars in his eyes every time he comes near you, Katie. J just tell me, remind me again why we are not telling him the truth. Because I feel like it's too late. I can't have him know that I've been lying to him the whole time I've been back in town. He'll hate me. And then all those little stars in his eyes will completely disappear and Jen will be there to pick up the pieces. <sighs> what if I tell him a version of the truth? Uh, isn't that just... Wait, it's on the tip of my tongue. Isn't that still a lie, Katie? He yes. needs to know that my marriage is over, right? And he needs to know that I'm free and available, right? Right. So, I tell him that Simon ducked me. <laughs> and when would Simon have done this dastardly deed? He hasn't done it yet, but he will. Right in front of Mike's eyes. Oh, I'd love to discuss fourth quarter numbers with you, but <laughs> oh, wouldn't I? No, the family's in disarray. It's my granddaughter. Yeah, so we're... Hang up the phone, Lucinda. I'm experiencing some uh, interference. Hang up the... Hey. Where's Sierra? She ain't here. Where is Sierra? My daughter is missing. Sierra is taking care of things. Well, where is Sierra taking care of things? Oh, I'm so sorry, Craig. She just doesn't want you involved in any of this. Well, it's too late! Would you please take your tempered tantrums elsewhere? What are you trying to do, provoke me? All right, I'm provoked. I'll, I, I'll call the police. You want me to call the police? Mm. Oh, that's not working. All right. Pig. Programming never sees. Maybe now Sierra will play ball. Did you find anything? No. It's snowing again like crazy. 
There's no sign of the plane anywhere. That could be a good thing, okay? We don't know it crashed. The sound we heard could have been... I know what you're trying to do, but we shouldn't lie to ourselves just to keep up our spirits. Besides, I didn't just hear the plane crash. I felt it when it hit the mountain. Look, but the pilot said he was going to radio in her coordinates. So. After he landed. But if he never made it back, there's a chance no one even knows that he picked up our SOS. I mean, someone's bound to know he's missing, okay? And they're going to send him to the rescue plane. In this storm. I wouldn't count on it. And besides, even if they did, it doesn't mean they're going to find us. Nobody knows we're down here. I feel I don't want to die here. Hey. Hi. We ordered you some coffee. No, I, I don't think we should. I'm, I'm already shaking. Why? What did the cops say? The plane that responded to the SOS, it crashed. Did they say where? All Hal said that the, uh, the rescue team was waiting for the coordinates from the plane, and it went down. And we are no closer to finding Lucy and Raphael than we were before. Well, they got to know the general area the plane was in. No. The trouble is that there are there are many mountain ranges in this vicinity, and they don't know where to look. They'll send out another plane to get three people down out they there. They can't do they that. Have to. Why? Why not? Because there's a blizzard blanketing the area. Well, then they can just send the state police up there. The state on... police... The state police... If the state police know that Lucy and Raphael are still alive, it's only a matter of time before Dominic finds out, too. If he hasn't already. He'll go after him. You know that, right? Which is all the more reason that I need to keep Hal Munson in the case. No, 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 Sid, I have a better idea. realize you were such a voyeur. What are you talking about? A private little hell you and Sierra arranged for me. You talking about that thing? Why don't you save that for the police? Isn't that who you just called? Your daughter, my granddaughter, okay, is missing. Could we please not do this? Do what? Have you and Sierra arrested for kidnapping? <sighs> Now, I have tried Sierra's phone. She is not answering. You want me to get a warrant and have her follow? I do believe that her foolishness is conferring with Dusty and with Jordan at the Lakeview. Hmm? Sierra might be on the red tracker. Why not let Hal Munson go after Dominic? What's that going to do? If the cops lean on Dominic, he's not going to talk. You don't know that. What's he going to do? Confess? Draw him a map? to two people who could put them away for life? If we're gonna find them alive, we're gonna need some inside information. With any luck, that's what we're gonna get. You mean from that man that works for Dominic? Bud, yes, Dominic trusts him. Can I trust you? Sorry to disturb you, Miss Esteban, but you have a phone call? Thank you. Hello? Sierra, dear, you need to come home immediately. What's happened? Well, there's a situation brewing here, and I can't discuss it on the phone. You just have to come home right away. There's an emergency at my mother's. I, I need to get going. You're going to keep the cops away from Dominic for now, right? I don't need to tell you that we're running out of time. Sierra, we are going to do everything we can to find your daughter. You've trusted me before, and no matter how things ended between Lucy and me, you can count on me to bring her back to you. I tried. All right, you heard her. Time isn't on our side. How long are we going to wait for Bud? We're not going to wait. Where to? We're going to the gym. Find out exactly what's going on. No, you shouldn't. I shouldn't be whining. 
thing. I should be sorting logs for the fire. You must have gotten chilled over here outside. I'm fine. How can you be fine? You were up all night with a fever. I'll get you some tea. No, you've done plenty, okay? I'm alive because of you. Not for all that I'm worth. Don't say that, okay? You're the one that pulled me through that snake bite, okay? And as soon as it stops snowing out there, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cut more branches to make another help sign and somebody's gonna see it too. The way they saw the first one. Right? How do you stay so optimistic? Yeah. Look at the facts. You know? Dominic could have shot us. Right? But he did it. No, he took us up in a plane and left us there to die. But we didn't, did we? We survived. We found shelter, food, fire. A rattlesnake. Yeah, but even that didn't hurt me because you were here to take care of me. Don't you see? We could have died half a dozen times by now. But we're still here. We're alive. I don't know. To me, that means only one thing. You and me. I'd love to, but I got some drywall coming and nobody telling them where to put it. But I was wondering if you had any plans for New Year's Eve. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about going to New York. Some old friends are having a party at one of the agencies. What are you doing? Well, I was hoping I could spend it with my girl. But, you know, there's this, uh, there's this rumor going around. She's going to be partying with a bunch of model types, so... <laughs> Oh, well, maybe your girl was just yanking your chain. Would she do that to me? Are you asking me to spend New Year's Eve with you? I'm definitely asking. Mm. I would love to. Good. Mm. I can't go all the way to New York, though. Oh, no. It's okay. All right, cool. Think about what you want to do then, okay? You don't mind me calling you my girl, do you? Do I look like I mind? It's perfect. Michael, come over. Because? Because I have some sort of emergency. Oh, I'm glad you never used that idea before. And the phone will ring. Uh, how do you know that? Because it will be you. I mean, you being Simon. Aha, uh -huh. that's where the fun part begins. And what will I want this time, love? You will tell me, <laughs> no, no, Simon will tell me, <laughs> that he's met someone else, someone that he works with. He never meant for this to happen, but it did, and he didn't want to ruin my Christmas, which is why he talked to Mike earlier to tell him to watch out for me until he could get up the courage to ask for a divorce. Poor Bubbles, you'll be devastated. Right. Luckily, Mike will be here to pick up the pieces of my shattered heart. Yeah, that is that sounds like a plan. There's just one little detail. There's a smart redhead that always seems to show up when you get within two feet of Mike. Right. Yeah. Well, isn't today a work day? Doesn't anyone in this town have to go to work? Uh, well, that's the advantage of owning your own design firm. Well, you're gonna have to keep her occupied. What? Well, how? What do we want me to do? Stitch her to the pattern table? You know, call her and tell her that you need a job. A job. A job? Well, you're not working, are you? No, it, it, it is a lifestyle choice. She'll totally believe you. Please <laughs> tell her you want to work for her company. Come on. Come on. Uh, Jen, hey, it's Henry Coleman. Hi, Henry. Have you recovered from our whirlwind dinner? Recovered? I can't wait to do it again. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Jen, I'm just calling. I don't know if you know this, but I've hit a sort of dry spell with work, and I was wondering if we could meet and maybe talk about a position in that snazzy new company of yours. I would love to, Henry, but we're not hiring. Not a problem. We'll meet, we'll talk, I'll convince you. Where are you? I'm at the lake view, but... Stay right there. I want to pitch you in person. Give you a sense of who I am outside the kitchen. <laughs> Henry.
Henry, I, I really have a pretty full schedule today. Mike wouldn't happen to be there, would he? You know how close we are. We're practically best friends. He'll vouch for me. Uh, Mike's already left for work. Darn. Um, well, if I could just have a few moments of your time, I'm, I'm sure that Mike would say that you should at least give me a chance to plead my case. All right, Henry. I'm at the Lakeview. I'll be waiting for you. Thank you. You won't regret this. Mission accomplished. I'm going to meet her at the Lakeview, and Mike is on his way to work. Not for long. I'm going to go get that tea. I weirded you out, didn't I? No. Look, when I said that we were meant to be, what I was trying to say is that you and I are not supposed to die right now, right here. Like, this is not our time. If there's some grand plan, I would love to know what it is. My knees won't stop knocking. I can't sleep. It's not just the cold, you know? Do you remember my grandma? She wore all black and always smelled like baby powder. <laughs> all right, well, she had the eye, okay? The eye? You know, she could see into the future. Okay, you're making that up. I'm not. Um, when she would look into my eyes, it was like she was looking into my soul. She did that a lot? Yeah, well, she studied me from the time I was a little kid. And she would tell my mother, she even told me that I was gonna live a long life and have lots of children. And I was gonna grow up to be a great man someday. So, we're going to be okay because I'm gonna become the man that my grandmother saw in my future. I think you're pretty great now. There's nobody here. I gotta tell you, Dusty, I didn't think there would be. Bud gave me his word he'd find out where that plane went down. Yeah, well, he would have said anything to keep us off his back. Well, we had to try. Dominic and the pilot are the only two who know where Lucy and Raphael are, and the pilot's not talking. Well, what makes you so sure that Dom would tell Bud anything? What makes you think he wouldn't? Dusty. the world turns. Or you're what? Throw me in jail? Go ahead. Anything to help us find Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Who for a divorce over the phone? I'm not your responsibility. Katie, forget about it. I will stay here as long as you need me. Coming. I'm so sorry I dragged you away from work. No problem. I just got the crew going. You okay? Oh, yeah. I, um, I opened the windows like you said, and I don't smell the gas anymore. All right. I'll go check on that leak now unless the gas company already came. No, no. They said they can't send a truck till later, so, um, I feel terrible. I could have gone to Margo's or something. Okay. It's okay. All right. I'll take care of it. What's wrong? I was just remembering. What? The way I used to feel when you'd say everything was going to be okay, and it always would be. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sappy like that. You know how I am around New Year's Eve. I just, I get <sighs> sentimental. I start thinking about all the crazy things I've done and where I'm headed. I guess it's just a sentimental kind of time of year. Simon Cole lately?
I better check on that leak. Bubbles. Henry, are you there yet? That's a 10 4. I have the offending designer in my sights. How about you? Has the tool belt arrived yet? Mike's downstairs. You all right? Sound a little shaky. It was just something that he said. The way he said it. Oh, Henry, I love him so much. I don't know why I ever let him go. Well, that's the mistake we're trying to correct, remember? I want him back so bad. Then why don't you. I, I cannot believe I'm repeating this. Why don't you tell him the truth? Not a version of it, but the genuine article. Don't you think I want to? I hate this, but I'm in too deep now. Please, Henry, just one more little fib, and then I'm swearing off. I swear. All right. Let's synchronize our lion watches here. Okay, um, ten minutes, okay? Oh, and use the accent right away, just in case Mike picks up or something. No worries, sweetheart. I won't let you down. Thank you for meeting me on such short notice. Meeting you isn't the problem, Henry. Like I was trying to tell you on the phone. You're not hiring. Got it. Uh, well, if you've got it, what are you doing here? And what am I doing here? Mother, I... What in the world is going on here? He's your situation? I told you last that night. our daughter could be dead? Uh, darling, Craig has uncovered this surveillance monitor, and he is threatening kidnap charges. And you expect to accomplish what? I expect you to stop sitting on what you know and include me in the search for our daughter. Or you what? Throw me in jail? Go ahead. You locked me in the monastery. Oh, that is nothing compared to what I wanted to do when I realized what you did to poor Alan. Do you really think that I killed Alan? I know, just his reputation, his memories, his parents' <sighs> faith in their wonderful please, son. Please, you two, stop it. Stop it. Lucy. Lucy. Let's focus on Lucy. You know, Mother, I need to talk to Craig alone for a second. Do you believe it's wise under the circumstances, dear? I believe it's important. <sighs> Be my guest. Do you believe I love Lucy? In your own way, I'm sure you do. No, no, no. No, I love her, period. And I will not let anyone, anyone behave as if I do not. Like you behaved as if it was impossible for me to love Alan? Well, I think this is a little different. Well, I did love him. And you denigrated him at every turn. He was a good man. He was exactly the opposite of mm -hmm. what you were trying to portray him as. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's the opposite of you. Kind and decent. He was kind of stupid. And by the way, he died. I did not kill him. That's why I put you in the monastery with Brother Francis. <laughs> to save you. Do you understand what that means? No. I loved Alan. You know, there was a time that I loved you with all my heart until it ached. I gave all of myself to you. And you gave me those beautiful children. And this is how you repay me, locking me up in a monastery? For bread and water and chanting for days on end? I was trying to believe in you again. <sighs> I thought maybe Brother Francis could do that. Brother Francis is a sanctimonious clone. <sighs> oh, there you go again. There you go again, belittling people you don't understand. Well, he's a wise man, Greg. And if he can't save you, no one can. I'm sorry, Raphael. I just have a hard time believing that we were supposed to survive a plane crash and get lost in the mountains. Well, maybe it's not about the plane. The crash or the mountains. Well, what then? It's about who you're with. It's about 
you and me haven't get lost with each other, we'll find each other again. You remember how close we were when we were kids? <laughs> of course. Some of the happiest times of my life. From the bottom of the ocean floor, the blue, blue sky. Be my friend to the day I die. Yeah, I made you promise me that. I never <laughs> forgot it. Even after you had to go away. I hated my mom. This summer she shipped me off to that boarding school. I think I cried for a week because you weren't going with me. I was pretty bad myself. Somewhere inside, I knew that our paths would cross again. I mean, I had to keep my promise. I'd be your friend to the day I die. You meant so much more than that, though. You're the only reason that I have a shred of hope left. And I know that if we make it out of this alive, that it's all thanks to you. You'll make it. All right. You got a lot of life to live. Okay? How can you be so sure? Did you inherit your grandmother's eye? <laughs> no, her faith. Okay, and we're gonna get out of here. And when we do, our lives are never gonna be the same. I think I'm gonna see if the snow's lighting up at all. I'm gonna go with you. Um, no, you should you should stay here and keep resting. I won't go far. Looks like Dom had plenty to say with a 45. Wait a second. I got a pulse. It's weak, but he's still alive. But, but, hey. Hello. But, yes, I need an ambulance to the gym on Fillmore Street. A man has been shot. He has Hang a stomach on, wound. All right? We're getting you an ambulance. Did Dominic do this to you? Did he say anything about Lucy? <laughs> but, anything to help us find Lucy? What I meant to say is that I get that you don't think that you have to hire anyone right now. No, Henry, I'm positive. I don't take no for an answer. That's why you need someone like me on your staff. Because you're not a good listener? No, no, because I'm bold and aggressive and I go after what I want. Just like you did with Street Jeans. It's, it's got your irrepressible mark all over it and I want to be a part of that. Doing what exactly? Well, Jen, you may not know this, but I'm a marketing genius. Really? Yes. Well, last I heard, you were earning your living at the craps tables. Well, no. But I was also news director at WOAK, and media and PR are my areas of expertise. Are you late for something? No. No, no. You know, I... I had that nasty fall from the rock, remember, a couple of months ago, and I just... I have to take this pain medication, so, um, that's why I... I'm, can you excuse me for a minute? Just thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. All right, I think I found your problem. You had a uh, valve near the dryer that wasn't closed all the way. Oh, um, how does something like that happen? Hard to say. It could be streams and temperatures, maybe. I don't know, but it's fixed now. Okay, uh, well, thank you again for coming. Um, I'm sorry again that I dragged you away from work. Mm. It's the advantage of being your own boss. I know I'm not going to get fired. You, know? you want to stay for a, a cup of coffee or something? Um, no, nah, I, I, I should go. Hello? Simon! What kind of bad news? Are you the only one that's on, love? Yes, Simon, I am. Sorry to have to break it to you like this, Katie. The... A dingo ate my baby. You met someone else? A divorce? You want a divorce? But I, Simon, I thought we were gonna... I mean, I thought you... How can you be so calm about this? And you don't even... No, I'm not gonna beg. No, I can't... I, I can't talk to you about this anymore. Katie. Mike, you were there. You 
heard all that? Well, I heard you say something about bad news, so I stuck around just in case. He's in love with somebody else. He wants a divorce. So, so he just hits you with it on the phone, just like that? Out of the blue? Well, no, not exactly. I mean, the truth is we've been having problems. I just didn't want to say anything before. But still, who, who asked for a divorce over the phone? Just go, Mike. I'm going to be okay. No way. I'm not leaving you like no, this. No, I'm not your responsibility. Katie, forget about it. I'll stay here as long as you need me. Henry, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you left to take that pill, and then when you didn't come oh, back... Oh, I'm sorry. Man. It's this sinus medication. You know, they make me so groggy sometimes. I thought it was for an injury. It is. It is for a head injury, and it's wreaked havoc with my sinuses, constant infections. I have to take antibiotics every four hours. Antibiotics for pain? I mean, aren't these new combination drugs a miracle? <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, truth is, Henry, I have to go. No, 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 you can't. Um, Henry? I promise you that if something comes up at Street Jeans, I will call Let you. me buy you a cup of coffee. <clears throat> we can talk. I can get an organizational I picture can't. of them. <laughs> I'm meeting a friend. Not Mike. No, Mike's at work. Right. Of course, Mike's at work. Okay. Well, thanks again for Christmas dinner. Well, thank me. Thank you. You're the one that cooked it. And by the way, do you have that recipe for, was that <clears throat> brown Betty? Goodbye, him? Henry. Better hurry up, Katie. You mean I have nothing left to save? Oh, a little piece of a swell nightclub. I swing a mean tennis racket. See? This is what I'm talking about. This is about the survival of your soul, but you can't stop being flipped for one second. I have to be. I'm still the man you married. No. The man I was married to had a heart. He allowed himself to be touched. Yes, but then soon I had to beg. And now I have to beg to be included in the search for my daughter. How insensitive do you think I am to lock me up in a monastery? I saw the horrors of my life. I cried. I cried like Brian died all over again. But so now you want me to feel sorry for you? No, I expect you to treat me like a human being. Who doesn't acknowledge his heirs and doesn't shoulder any responsibility? <laughs> okay, of course, everything is my fault. Why can't you just say it like it is? You wanted Lucy to need you, so you arranged for her to be kidnapped, and then when it spiraled out of control, you framed Alan. I, I think we have gone over that before. And we are going to keep going over it until you own up to your part in his death. If you think... If you really think I killed him, why didn't you go to the police? Hmm? And put my daughter's father in jail? You know, if my life was the only one that was affected by this, I would have gone to the police in a heartbeat. But for Lucy, I was willing to give you another chance. You held me captive. Don't use our daughter as an excuse. She loves you, Craig. God knows why. After everything that you've done for her, she still loves you. She can't help herself. I wasn't about to break her heart again. But you know what? The more I think about it, I should have gone back to the police. I should have told them about you, because then we would have known where you were. And she wouldn't have gone off looking for you. What are you talking about? She went looking for you when her plane went down. What's going on? It's the worst storm yet. I could barely see my feet in front of me. It's piling up so fast, I thought I was going to get buried before I made it back. What was that? I don't know. What did it sound like? Like a groan from deep in the tunnel. Our vows obviously meant more to me than they ever meant to Simon. Oh, to think that I took him back after what you and I had. Oh, I was so wrong, Mike.
Kaznoff. Hi, Kaznoff. It's Munson. Uh, you asked me to think about what I want to do for New Year's. Right. I did. Um... Look, I can't talk right now. Is something wrong? You sound upset. I'm at Katie's. Is there a problem? I'll call you back as soon as I can. You came back. You've reconsidered hiring me. I'm on to you, Henry. <sighs> was that your work? No, it was Jennifer. She's not coming here, is she? I mean, I... Uh, I just wouldn't want anyone to see me like this. No, she's not coming over. <sighs> hey, I'm gonna get you through this, Katie. I promise. All right, everything's gonna be okay. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Lucy's the plane went down when she was looking for me? Yes. Now do you understand? In spite of everything that you have done to her, she couldn't stand the idea of you being in trouble, so she risked her life for you. She's trying, trying to, to, to save me. We were both trying to save you. And we were both being a fool. Let's just hope she doesn't pay for it with her life. You're gonna make it. The ambulance is gonna be here any second. Tell me what you know about Lucy and Raphael. Do you know where they are? Saw. Saw. You saw them? You, you saw them? Bud, you saw them? Saw. Tooth. Sawtooth. Sawtooth. Sawtooth Mountains in Idaho. Is that what you're talking about? I hear it too. It's like a low kind of rumble. On the next, as the world turns. I didn't hang that stocking, and I didn't buy that doll. It wasn't me. Then who did it? We can't go back, can we? Because you've moved on. That's not really true.